Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set multiple columns value to item key in walk queue. So you can see here, this is the item key and here we can set a value to the item key from our collection. Now if you want to set multiple columns value, it means you want to uh, concatenate two or three values and you want to show here in the item key just for the reference just to identify the specific item so you can do it here I'm going to show you how to do that so for that first you can see here we have this excel file this item we are going to add to queue now we have multiple columns currently I am taking order number as a item key you can see it from here if you go to system tab and then click on walk queue and click on that specific queue and in the key name you can see that is order number so we are taking this one this order number now just to identify that specific item you can add one more column if you want to add order number plus product code so you can do that if you want to add order number with that quantity order number with that customer number you can do that so I'm going to show you with the use of order number and product code. We are going to use this add items to queue. If you don't know how to do this, you can go through my previous video. You can search for add items to queue in blueprint. Just let me do it here. Now after collection, before adding items to queue, we need to follow a few steps. What are those steps? Well, I'm going to show you here. First, we'll take one action stage and this action stage we are going to use to add a field to collection so we are going to use this utility col collection manipulation and then we'll select our action that is append field with text now this will append a specific column like one field to the existing collection now which collection so we have this collection name we are going to add to this order collection why I'm going to add this to this collection because you will see that after getting the data from this Excel collection we are going to store here so we'll take it from here so we are going to add on runtime so we are not hard coding this value we are not putting here in the runtime we are directly adding one collection one field name to this collection now in the field name what name do you want so I want name as a key name so I have key name so this name will be added as a field in this collection now which value you are going to add so I'm not going to pass a default value I'm going to take a concatenation of these two columns value so I will leave as it is now go to output and do you want appended collection in a different collection if yes you can store in a different otherwise you can take the same collection so I'm going to take same collection okay after that we are going to take one loop here loop start and loop end and you know why because we need to take data one by one from this collection and based on that will will concatenate this one now double click here select here orders collection this collection which is here and link here now take one calc stage and this calc stage is we are going to use to write the data to our that specific field so how can we do that so double click on this calc stage and write here add key name to collection and here we are going to take that value so that will be order collection dot our this column name that fill name now copy this and and person because I am going to concatenate this and person double quotations now underscore and underscore so I am going to add this term this word between these two data 
Now, I am going to take the other columns value that is this one product code. If you want to take one more, you can just concatenate here. Now, I am just going to pass here. So, that will now take value from here. Now, this value I am going to store, I am going to pass here in the key name field. And that key name is we are taking dynamically. So, we need to write here key name. So, that will directly add this this these value to this key name field right now click ok close this and now we are ready to run that so just increase the speed of debug right click set next stage run this here step over step over and now you see here one field added here in this collection you can go and see here on runtime we have added a key name now this key name has been added now just go loop one by one and you can see now it is now appending this data you can see here abc-122 and 2983 so this is the combination of these two columns now let me run till 10 and now you can see here we have all this data of com combination of these two columns value abc122 and this 23 like that so we are ready to now add this item to queue now he here we are going to add items to queue so before that we'll go to this and here we have order number now we are not using this order number column now we are using that key name that column we we have created on runtime so we'll apply save that we'll go to control again and now go here just to see that and now we are going to run here so data added to queue now you can just refresh here and now you can see here we just now added these data to queue so by this way you can add multiple columns value to item key so i hope this is useful if so Please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn UiPath RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA. If you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy, so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video